What's up, everybody? Tony Beats Guy here, and almost two years ago to the date, on January 20th, 2014, I actually got the opportunity to interview AJ Styles for the OMG Wrestling Podcast. It was actually before I was a part of Magnum Pro, and I'd actually just gone to the show as a fan, but it's very, very interesting to see what he has to say, and this is more of just a, a chat, a, a conversation with him. It's not a formal interview. But this was the start of something big, and I really, really, really wanted to show you guys this interview again. So make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy this, and let's get right into the interview. All right, whatever you don't want to answer. Just, just hey, man, start. I'm prepared. I'm all, all right. Prepared. So I'm here with AJ Styles, the number one. We're on the OMG podcast, OMG Wrestling Podcast. Got it. Um, what was it like working for WCW? WCW? Yeah, I got to ask that Dude, first. I had the best time at WCW. I had a job with a major wrestling company. For five whole matches, I did, and it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, you were with NWA Wildside before that, right? I was NWA Wildside, and the reason why I got a job at WCW is because we had a developmental deal with oh, really? WCW. And so when the WCW higher ups were coming to look at and see all their guys progressing, they saw me and Eric, Eric Harris having incredible matches. They gave us a shot to go try it out, and the next week uh, we had a job. I saw, yeah, and then they even mentioned NWA Wildside on. Did they? Yeah. How about that? I think it was your first match I was watching, they did that, and then. They had you in that gimmick, that that whole setup, and I, I know you didn't like that, but... Hey, yeah, I didn't like it, I didn't love it, but I was going to be the best one, man. Whatever the fighter pilot suit, bring it on. I'll be the best fighter pilot they've ever seen. That's awesome. Did, did you think you were going to WWE after that when they uh, told it, or were you uh, not even sure? I had worries. I mean, because I had, hadn't been in WCW very long, like yeah. a name for myself. So I kind of figured it was going to happen, and I did get the call, you know, from Johnny Ace saying, "Hey, the yeah. WWE's not picking up your contract." Right. You know, got the boo boo face on, and life goes on. Then you went back to the Indies, and went back to the Indies. Yep. Wrestled Christopher Daniels at the, I believe it was the 52nd anniversary of NWA. Uh, wrestled Christopher Daniels for the first time, and my indie career took off. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And then uh, from there you went to TNA, obviously after Ring of Honor and all that. Right. Everybody knows your Ring of Honor stories and back to TNA. I'll just have to say the reason I ordered TNA in the first place was for you Bush Jeff Jarrett. The first time you had wow. an NWA, it was uh, ten dollars I paid on Wednesday. Yeah. And that's that's when. the reason everybody was talking about you back then because you were like the hot new kid. Oh yeah. Well, I, I was a kid back then, and it was you know, you know, the crazy thing is you know we, we were having uh, unbelievable matches and putting some hurt on each other. Yeah. Uh, but the great thing about being that kid is I healed fast back then. Yeah. You know, when I was 25, things were a lot easier. Yeah, of course. I don't think I could work that kind of style as far as, you know, we were having match after match uh, in the same night. Yeah. And uh, I don't think I could work that kind of style that aggressive. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. 36. I'm smarter than you. Yeah, yeah, you can do a lot of dumb stuff when you're young. Man, I did a lot of dumb stuff. <laughs> a lot of dumb stuff. And then uh, I'm just going to cut to the chase. TNA. Cut it. What's the deal with that? How'd that all come down? Hey man, uh, this is a wrestling business. And they gotta do what's good for them for business, and I gotta do what's good for AJ Styles for business. Uh, and, and that's exactly what I did. You know, I saw an opportunity to take a break from TNA and go and venture out and uh, wrestle the Indies and hopefully other places. You know, that's something I haven't been doing in a long time. And, uh, you know, we just didn't come to an agreement. And so it was just, hey, you know what? I need to make a decision. I need to put, make yeah. sure there's, uh, there, there's money for my family. Right. And I can't wait on them. So let's just freaking, let's, let's just go. Let's just do this. Is there any hard feelings or the door left open? Now, I left the door open. And now they, they may be hard feelings against me because it was one of those things where, like I said, hey, uh, I'm gone. I'm actually wrestling for Ring of Honor. So I'm yeah. It was one of those kind of things where they probably thought they had me ready to sign, which was never the case. Right. I was never ready to sign. There were so many things that I needed to work out. And, just, and yes, it was over the holidays, because my contract was up December 15th. And over the holidays, we're still trying to figure this thing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and while some people maybe they weren't able to get a hold of to make sure they can clear these things, yeah. I couldn't afford to wait because things were coming up that right. I didn't need to do. And, um, so it just kind of happened. What are your thoughts on your final match in TNA? It was kind of a big schmoz fest. Yeah, it was. It was. But if you're going to go out, nine people you know, taking it to you, not a bad way to go out. Yeah, and then when you come back, you can beat up all those nine people. Yeah, yeah I mean, if I go out. If you go back, I mean, yeah, you, exactly. you, you never know, man. I did, we did the, try to leave the door open, but you never know. So now you're back in Ring of Honor. Back in Ring of Honor. And all the indie stuff too. And I'm loving it, man. This is fun. This, I'm having a good time. You know, people, uh, you know, the reaction that we get is, it's, it's, 
it makes you uh, love wrestling. You know, that, that stuff you used to miss about people just coming out to see good wrestling. Because I guarantee you tonight, they probably didn't expect AJ Styles to come out and wrestle as hard as he did. No, definitely not. Uh, but I only have one speed. It's all That's awesome. And it really pisses my wife off. But <laughs> uh, these people came here to see great matches and be entertained. They, they, they used their hard earned money you know, to come here and pay for tickets. And so uh, I take that personally. They, you know, I need to put on a quality match for them. Yeah, I think the crowd was in shock that you were even out here in the first place. It was kind of like a, a silent at first, and then it was like, oh, okay, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was fun being here, man, and it was a great crowd. I mean, they, they did, uh, I believe, you, uh, maybe only had standing where he left. You know, yeah, that's a good it was. Thing, yeah. And that's what it's all about. So were you scared when you were done with him, or did you, were you sure that you were going to a lot of bookings in the Indies? Well, you know, when you have a paycheck coming in every week, and then you don't, it does get kind of scary. Uh, but I had confidence that, that I could go out there and make a living you know, on the Indies. There's a the ring of honor. Yeah. Uh, and there's uh, definitely other places I'm going to give a shot. You know, it, this is what I do for a living, man. So I'm, I'm not worried about. It. I'm confident in my ability in the ring and outside of the ring. So it'll work out. 2014 is going to be a good year. So are you full time Ring of Honor, or are you still working out with Ring of Honor, or how's that? I'm definitely wrestling a lot of shows with Ring of Honor. We haven't signed anything, but um, I, I definitely love the, the respect level uh, that Ring of Honor has and that I have for them. You know, it's, it's never changed. I've always had a lot of respect for them, so it's an honor to be back. The way that they welcome me back. All right. Well, anything you want to say to the fans out there? The same thing I always say. That uh, to be honest with you, I would be nothing without you, the fan. So I appreciate you coming out, and I'm going to do my best to make sure you're entertained. You come see me. You're going to get the best that I got. All right. Thanks a lot. Go, oh, thanks, man. Setting things on fire. It's simply just violence. There's nothing professional about it. I will be glad.